Welcome to this tech tip showing how math formulas can be created in EdgeCam and SurfCam dialog boxes. The mill part on the screen has toolpath already created. We turned off the display of some of that toolpath so that we can focus on the task at hand, adding variables to cycle dialogs. We'll begin with some hole drilling that's using a quarter inch drill to drill four holes in the part. And we'll begin by demonstrating a simple formula for cut increment. Cut increment is our peck increment. And let's say that the decision is that the peck increment should be the tool's diameter, a quarter inch, times 2.5. So we've just built a relationship. If we hold down the control key and the equal key together, we can see that results in 0.625. If we move the cursor to another input field, it shows the result of that. If I want to edit the formula, I can simply click back to the input field and I have easy access back to the formula. That's great for typing simple stuff, but what if we wanted to make a higher level relationship? Beginning with the 2017 R2 versions of EdgeCam and SurfCam, users can now hold the shift key in dialogs, hover over an input field, and see the JavaScript name of the value reference to that input field. So if we wanted to build a reference, we could simply take what is shown after the JavaScript colon, or in this case it says command.retract01, to within some other input field within the box, build a value that has a relationship back to this one. Well, that's great for relationships within an existing dialog, but what if I wanted to make a relationship all the way back to the tool? That is also possible. As the software help system explains, Variables based on tool and stock are also available. So if we leverage that and put in the JavaScript variable for tool diameter times 2.5, we can use control equals and see that that now results in the same value. But it's a more intelligent formula because it's based on the tool's diameter. We've just built a relationship. And if we ever change the diameter of the tool later, the value in the cut increment input box will update accordingly. Pretty cool. Again, when we move the cursor to another field, we see the result. If we click back in here, we can make changes as needed. And perhaps one of the changes is we want to reduce that to 1.5. Let's go look at another area where there was an intelligent relationship added, and that was in the drill tool number two, which is a one inch drill. If we look closely at the feature being machined here, Notice that the feature that's being machined is simply a hole, that while the hole is correct in capturing the length of the sidewall, the intent is really to drill from the top of the stock clear through to the bottom of the stock. Trained users would typically think that the way to do that is to put in a direct value into the level and a direct value into depth to pull that off. And while that does work, if we're interested in building a relationship, there's a better way to do that. Notice that here in the depth field, there's a relationship that's using the bottom of the stock and then continuing deeper for another hundred thousands. So again, a relationship that's built here and without the user having to know where the coordinate of the bottom of the stock is, we can use this quick formula and easily calculate that. When we render the stock, we can see that the results of that are that indeed the software does drill all the way through the bottom of that plate and we've captured that relationship into the whole cycle. Additional information is available in the M2 Technologies Tech Tip on math formulas and cycle dialogues. The M2 blog site has many tech tips and training segments. Use the search option on the blog page with keyword formula to locate this tech tip and additional information. Contact us by email or phone if you need additional assistance.